Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with the relationship between inflation and commodity prices. Inflation has increased in 2022, and in March, April, and May, we have seen inflation above 8%. In May, we had an inflation rate of 8.5%. This is the first time that inflation has exceeded 8% since going back into the 1980s. We had a large inflationary and long inflationary period from roughly 1973 through 1981. Again, this is the first time that we've seen inflation above the 8% range since the beginning of the 1980s. We asked ourselves, is there a relationship between inflation and commodity prices? While we look at inflation and then commodity prices, we see very different patterns. Commodity prices tend to have long periods where they are, are they don't trend up or down and vary around a plateau. Those plateaus for corn was from 1960 to 1976. We saw a plateau of $1.17, and then it increased in 1973 to $2.36. Generally, in exports and the improving export environment led to that higher plateau. We saw corn prices maintain that $2.36 plateau until roughly 2006, when again, when, when again we saw commodity reach it a new plateau, and that was $4.22, roughly, beginning in 2006. The trigger event to that increase with ethanol production and corn use in ethanol production led to that increase, along with continuing strong demand, export demand for soybeans. We've been around that 422 plateau for corn since. Soybeans have maintained roughly that same So, same uh, stair-step feature as corn has. If you look at those long periods when we see corn prices and soybean prices remain not trending up or down, that differs from what we see inflation. Inflation, again, had an increase in 1973 and continued at relatively high levels through 1981. There were bounces around that. But that increase in that period, or that that increase in inflation during that period, um, corresponded to the new uh, corn price plateau of 233. Again, going back, that increase in inflation went up about roughly the same time. However, if we look at the 2006 plateau, or that increase in 2006 plateau, that was not associated with an increase in inflation. So one time we had an increase in inflation and it corresponded to a corn price increase, the other time it didn't. If we look at the correlation between inflation rates and corn prices, and we look at those within those long-run periods, there is a correlation between corn price and inflation. It happens to be 0.19. Similarly, there is a correlation between soybeans and inflation, and it's 0.16. However, those are very low, relatively low uh, correlation coefficients, and occasionally we have higher commodity prices and no inflation, and vice versa. What we conclude from that is that inflation and commodity prices are linked but it's not a strong relationship. You can have periods of high inflation and low commodity prices and low inflation and higher commodity prices. Overall, the supply and demand factors that influence commodity prices are stronger than the inflation rate. If we have good yields, we will typically have lower prices and vice versa. Demand factors obviously play into that as well. You can read more about this in the Farm Doc Daily link to the video description in below.